Good morning. Uh, one of you has asked me to help with this past paper question about sequences. And before I start, all credit goes to Cambridge Examinations. This is their question, not mine. And I also want to say that you can also go to my website, uh, explainingmaths.com, and you can find all the resources you need to understand maths better. And uh, you can also ask me your questions. Okay, now let's get started. This is from a specimen paper of 2015. Paper 2, and it says the first four terms of a sequence are term 1 is 1 squared, term 2 is 1 squared plus 2 squared, term 3 is 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared, yeah, and continues like that. Okay, and they say the nth term is given by this formula, Tn, yeah, so term n is 1 over 6 times n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. And then they ask, work out the value of T23. Yeah, so what is the 23rd term? Okay, well, we evaluate the formula for um, N is 23, yeah, because the TN becomes T23, so N is a 23 now. So what is that going to give me? Uh, so T23 equals 1 over 6 times 23 times 23 plus 1 times 2 times 23 plus 1. And if you evaluate that properly and you put it in your calculator eventually, you're going to get 4,324. Now yeah, that's going to be your answer. That's for two points, by the way. Um, one point for writing this down and your second point for the final correct answer. We continue. A new sequence is formed as follows that the first term is T2 minus T1, that relates to these T2, T1. The second term is T3 minus T2, so that one take away that one. And the third term, T4 minus T3, and it goes on and on and on. Yeah, so the fourth term is going to be T5 minus T4. Okay, find the values of U1 and U2. Now, let me first just work out these. Perhaps I should have started with that. Yeah, What is 1 squared? That is 1. I'm just going to write it down below. And T2 is going to be 1 plus 4, so that's going to be 5. Okay. And T3 is going to be 5 plus 9, so it's going to be 14. And T4 plus 16, what is that? Uh, 13. There we go. So what is U1 going to be? It's T2 minus T1, 5 minus 1. Uh, so the answer is 4. Write it down, 4. And the second one is T3 minus T2, 40 minus 5. So that's going to be 9, you see. So that, again, for two points is a beautiful question because it's not the hardest question in the world, okay? So for the first question, two points to evaluate the formula. And the second question, um, again, yeah, it's just to subtract uh, T2 minus T1 and T3 minus T2. Okay, we're going to continue. Write down a formula of the nth term of un. So we're talking about this sequence now. Perhaps this is slightly more challenging, but for only one point, you can't expect to be doing too much. Okay, let's have a look. It says four. Um, let me see. Uh, what are we doing? So it's four. Let me write it down here. It is nine. Let's work out the third one, okay? Because this is not really a sequence yet. Although these are square numbers, 4, 9. What about T4 minus T3? 30 minus 14. That is 16. So yes, I do see square numbers, yeah? 4, 9, 16. The next one is probably 25. I could work it out, but perhaps you already see it. That term 1 is 2 squared. I'm just going to write it down. The 4 below is... Um, let me write it here. So u1 is 2 squared. u2 equals 3 squared. Yeah. u3 equals 4 squared. Again, for one point, it's not the most difficult quadratic sequence. Hopefully you see, it's every time the term plus 1 squared. The term plus 1 squared. The term plus 1 squared. So the term n plus 1 and all of that to the power 2. There we go. So for one point, a relatively easy quadratic sequence for which you can find the nth term rule for. Now we'll continue for two points, the last question. The first four terms of, again, another sequence are v1 is 2 squared, v2 is 2 squared plus 4 squared, 2 squared plus 4 squared plus 6 squared, 
2 squared plus 4 squared plus 6 plus 8 squared. And we have to compare this sequence with the one in part A. So that is this one. Okay, so we can forget about this. We're comparing it now with the one in part A. And find the formula for the nth term of this sequence vn and that is you can't see it perhaps that's for two points so perhaps slightly more work than this question now let's just work out the actual values um, of it so uh, oh, two squared is four and that's going to be 20 and that's going to be uh, plus 36 so 56 plus 64, so that's going to be 120. Okay, and those are the first one, two, three, four terms, and I see there the first one, two, three, four. Now, let's start comparing them. Term one is one, term one here is four, that could be plus three, for instance, but five plus three is not going to be 20. 14 plus three is not going to be 56. I'm comparing the two sequences. Perhaps you want to write them on top of each other, but I'll just use my arrow like this. So it's not plus three. Uh, what else? Well, 1 times 4 is 4, 5 times 4 is 20. Hey, look at that, 14 times 4 is 56, 30 times 4 is 120. So this term, or this sequence V, is every time 4, or each term, is 4 times as large as each term over there. Okay, and that is an investigation question. You just have to investigate. It's not, it's not written in a textbook how to approach it. Yeah, you're investigating first. I'm looking for perhaps an addition, which is constant, which is not the case. Then I look for a multiplication, and indeed I notice it's multiplied by four every time. So uh, I could just I could start by writing down uh, four times as large as um tn okay so what is the nth term rule well if the nth term rule of tn is this then the nth term rule for vn is going to be four times that okay so vn equals four over six uh, four times one over six four over six i'm going to directly um simplify that to two over three and that's four over six two over three n n plus one two n plus one, yeah, four times as large. Good. If this was useful, please like and share it, then I can help your friends too. And again, go to my site, explainingmaths.com, for more resources. Have a good day. Bye-bye.